Okay. I think this is a good one. Um, if we take today the study of economics, you know, that, that work at forecasting change, it's like studying the internal uh, mechanics of a, of, a, of a gas engine to try to determine the speed and direction of a car. Now, that's fine, but if you have no idea that someone is actually driving the car, you're always going to be a step behind, and, and you're only going to be right by chance. So hmm. it, it doesn't matter how much you study or understand about the engine, the motivation and actions of the driver are always going to be a mystery. And, and I've always felt that the, the truth of what drives our economy has always uh, escaped uh, those that, that are studying it. And, and I'll, I'll give you one simple secret here to sort of kick off uh, our, our, our talks of demographics. The simple secret to predicting our economy is that as complex as it is in day-to-day -day workings over the long, long term, it is remarkably predictable. And it is predictable for basically one very simple reason, and it's simple enough that you can explain this to a 10-year-old. Our economy is largely driven by the predictable family spending cycle of each generation of consumers and workers. Right. And it's basically that simple. Wow. So, so in the short term, there are a lot of factors, of course, that can affect our economy. I mean, we're always going to have uh, um, interest rates are going to rise and fall. We're going to have trade deficits, you know, go up and go down. Uh, you're going to have the, the U.S. dollar, the yen get stronger, get weaker, and, and it'll affect competitiveness, you know, of, of the countries and, and our multinational uh, companies and foreign markets. Right. But if we look at the one the one fundamental factor that drives the boom and bust cycles of our economy over time in a predictable manner, it isn't a matter of politics or, or interest rates or, or trade deficits or whether the dollar is strong or weak. It all comes down to consumption how the average family spends money in predictable patterns over time. That's what drives the economic cycle. Right. So, so as a result, we believe we can see the direction of our economy and the stock market over the next five and ten years today using these simple indicators. Well, one thing I bet I can predict is that well, it may not be complicated. It is detailed when you're talking about a forecast and, and demographics. It's a, a lot of great information you've shared today, Byron. I appreciate it. Now, do you have any final thoughts or words of encouragement you'd like to give your listeners? Well, I, I, I guess we're going to talk about this in a little bit more detail over the next couple of shows. Oh, well, good. But what I do is take that information, this, this demographic information I'm going to share with people, and I tend to use that as my economic backdrop. And that's how I try to make uh, investment decisions or recommend investment uh, investments for clients against the demographic landscape that my clients are going to be living through as they actually spend time in real-time retirement. Wow. Well, excellent. Well, you know, we're out of time, but Byron, thank you so much again. And of course, you can always visit Byron at www.byronstryloff.com. That's triple W dot byron com, and you can always reach out to byron by telephone at 604-535-3700 that's 604-535-3700 byron as always thanks again so much thank you very much thanks for listening to sound investing on localwebradio.fm You're listening to localwebradio.fm, community-minded, locally focused.